Hello everybody and welcome back to the building of the Svensson Jungmeister. As you can see I've got the wings on the workbench here and they're mounted together and this is the way that I'm going to store them and transport them because I have discovered that by disconnecting the rudder on the fuselage I can actually slide this whole set up over the tail area and then just reconnect the rudder and it takes about five minutes uh, to set it all up and to set up all the rigging wires so I'm really pleased with that because I thought I'd created a bit of a monster that I wasn't going to be able to transport so that problem solved it's time to press on now that I've finished doing uh, a little bit of restoration work on a friend's junior 60 so he's happy now he's got a model he can fly hopefully on one of those balmy summer evenings that we're all going to have fingers crossed and I can press on with this and one of the things I've been pressing on doing is completing the installation of the ailerons into the wings I've mounted them in here in these access blocks and when I came to test them this morning I noticed there was a little a little bit of slop well far too much slop in my view on the servo and it turns out that because they only have a, a one screw in either side of the servo that the whole thing was flexing on the mount so what I've actually done is I've used a hot glue gun to put a little blob of um, glue under the servo and they're now solid and rigid the other thing to note is that I'm opened up the holes in the horns just enough to allow the clevises the little rod to pass through I've seen lots of servos with very sloppy connections because the hole itself has been drilled out too large so that's I'm happy with this part and then the next issue was the connecting rod between the lower aileron and the upper wing because that the lower one drives the upper the push rods that had originally been in the kit had long gone the journey so I had to find an alternative and I was only able to find a rod that was long enough and threaded to go between the two horns. So what I did was I got some piano wire uh, of uh, a diameter that I thought was rigid enough and I've discovered that a, a 7B die was perfect for putting a thread onto each end and I've used plastic clevises in this case and the reason for that actually is that the metal ones that I purchased on a well-known um, site on the internet when they arrived I found that when I was opening them they were breaking and that's the last thing you need obviously when you're flying a model I have actually flown a model with only one aileron which wasn't a lot of fun uh, managed to get it down in one piece but obviously we want to avoid that in terms of setting things up this little servo tester which I purchased some time ago I think they were less than a fiver is a really handy kit bit of kit it'll take three servos it allows you to find the centre point which is really helpful although you have to be aware that the centre point on this simple little device and the centre point as arrived at by the transmitter and the receiver aren't tied to be exactly the same. But they're going to be near enough. And it also allows you to operate the servos, which I'll show you in a second, and also to show the full range of movement. So it's a handy bit of kit to have. I think, yeah, it costs less than a fiver. I'm just running it off a little NICAD pack a four pack here let's see how it works then so now everything's connected up I'm very happy with that so the fuel proof has arrived in the model shop now I've been informed that it's there to pick up and next week I'll be able to crack on and fuel proof the model and then it's going to be a case of installing the engine and testing everything. And the actual maiden's going to arrive a lot earlier than I thought. So, 
this is just by way of a very short in, uh, update for me. I hope you're enjoying the journey. If you want to carry on enjoying the journey, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. It helps spread the word. If you can get out flying, do so. It doesn't look very favourable here at the moment. It's very, very windy. But if you can't, let's get creative and do a little bit of model making. Bye for now.